Girls, we are going to be talking today about comparing fractions. And when you have two fractions and you're trying to decide which one's bigger or smaller or if they are the same, you cannot tell if the denominators are different. Because when the denominators are different, if you think about pizza, the slices are different sizes. So in order to compare these fractions, the first thing I have to do is get a common denominator. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to take the two denominators I have and multiply them. So my new common denominator is going to be 12. And now I'm going to make an equivalent fraction for each of the fractions I'm trying to compare. So I'm going to take 2 thirds, and I know I multiply the 3 times the 4, and to make an equivalent fraction, whatever happens to the bottom should also happen to the top. So I'm, I, if I did the 3 times the 4, now I need to do the 2 times the 4, and 2 times 4 is 8. Okay. And then on this side I multiply the 4 times the 3, and whatever happens to the bottom should also happen to the top, so 3 times 3 is 9. And now that I have a common denominator, those pieces are the same size. And if the pieces are the same size, I can look and tell which one I have more of. And if I'm talking about pizza, I'd much rather 9 twelfths than 8 twelfths. And because this fraction is the same as this one, and this one's the same as this one, I know that 3 fourths is greater than 2 thirds. Now, some of you guys have learned a method called the butterfly method, and that helps you. But I want to make sure that you understand why that works. I'm going to show the same example again, but the way you're used to seeing it. If you have 3 fourths and 2 thirds, I think this is really kind of cool. You start with finding your common denominator, which is 12. And before we had said that we, had, we multiplied 3 times 4, so we need to do 2 times 4. But if I circle this, this reminds me that I'm doing 2 times 4, and then I lose that step of having to write everything down. Over here, I did the 4 times the 3, so now I need to do the 3 times the 3. And 3 times 3 is 9. But when you do the butterfly method, what you're really doing is getting the numerator for your new equivalent fractions. And now I can tell that 9 twelfths is bigger than 8 twelfths. And always put your symbol so you can see what's happening. Okay? We're going to do one more example very quickly just so you can be practicing. If I took, we'll do 7 ninths and let's do 5 sixths. I'm going to find my new common denominator. 9 times 6 is 54. I write that down beside each of them. And then I multiply the 9 times the 6, so I need to multiply the 7 times the 6. And 7 times 6 is 42. And on this side, I multiply the 6 times the 9, so I need to do the 5 times the 9. And 5 times 9 is 45. And see how close these are when we really see them as a common denominator? I know the pieces are the same size, so I can look at my numerators, and 45 is greater than 42, so 5 6 is greater than 7 9 and always put that symbol there. Good luck in comparing fractions.